welcome to today's presentation. My name is Michael Corgett and I am one of the GSK focused advisors here at the Retirement Group. Today's presentation we're going to talk about both the GSK pension and savings plan as well as some retirement planning ideas uh, that I believe you'll find very valuable. Uh, also we'll talk about why you might want to consider the Retirement Group as well as some of our advice. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, why would you want to consider the retirement group? Well, we are an independent advisory firm. Uh, we are focused on working with a number of Fortune 500 companies like GSK. We, are, we have an intimate knowledge of your benefits programs, and we're here to help you. We have offices nationwide. I personally, personally am here in the Midwest in St. Louis, um, and so we're here to help. We've got people more than likely in an area that would help be able to help you. We offer a number of resources like these on-demand webinars. Um, we keep a library of them both on our, uh, our uh, website as well as our YouTube page. You could scan this QR code and follow our LinkedIn page and get all of the updates and news relevant to GSK as well as all of our posts, which I think are great, some great information out there. So go ahead and scan this code and uh, follow us on our LinkedIn page. Now first let's start about our retirement planning checklist. As you can see there's five things here. All of them are important. Not one of them is any more important than any of the other ones. The first one is probably up to you. You have to be comfortable and ready to retire emotionally. All right. Now you don't want retirement to sneak up on you. All right. You're about to quit working, which you know took up a lot of your time every week, and you've got to find something else to do with your time. Hopefully you've got hobbies, you want to do something part-time, you're going to volunteer, whatever it is, but you have to be emotionally ready and comfortable with it. We can help you with everything else. We at the Retirement Group manage retirement assets for our clients, so we can focus on minimizing the risk and volatility in your investment portfolio. We are a value-oriented investment advisor. We're conservative and we believe in this approach. We can help you maximize your retirement income while minimizing your income taxes on that income as well as other sources like Social Security and minimize or eliminate penalties. And then finally, developing an investment philosophy with a, with a financial advisor is extremely important and it's a long-term uh, thing that needs to be done. All right, getting comfortable with your advisor and adjusting your, your philosophy over time, both before and after retirement, is very important. Let's talk about the three-legged stool, the three different sources typically of retirement assets. Okay, first is Social Security. For most of us, we are eligible for it and we should be able to collect it. You could start it early at a reduced benefit Full normal retirement for all of us is usually between the ages of 66 and 67. And then maximum retirement is age 70. It all depends on your own situation. But that is a fixed income source that certainly is a part of your overall retirement. In this case, your pension is also an important source of retirement income. The longer you've worked at the company, the more assets that you'll have, the bigger pension that you might be able to take which we'll talk about here momentarily. And then finally, the 401k and all other financial assets that you've set aside for your own retirement, which could include IRAs, Roth IRAs, brokerage accounts, CDs, investments, cash in the bank, other income sources like real estate or another small business. All of these sources are really gonna make the difference between an average retirement and an exceptional retirement. What you choose to do for yourself is probably the most important thing. The more money you sock away on your own, the better off you're gonna be. Let's start with the GSK 401k. It is a traditional 401k. It offers the pre-tax and the after-tax Roth contributions. The pre-tax obviously grows tax deferred and will be taxable eventually upon withdrawal. The Roth is after tax, it grows tax free, it never will be taxable, none of the growth. There's no waiting period to participate, you can join immediately. 
You could contribute between 1% and 50% of your compensation within IRS limits, which this year are $19,500 traditionally, as well as a $6,500 catch-up contribution that could be made if you're over the age of 50. They have the auto enrollment plan, and after one year, GSK will contribute 2% across the board for all employees. That 2% will be added regardless of whether you're actually participating in the plan or not. Now, I strongly recommend you do participate, but GSK is good enough to do this for you as well. The company will match 100% up to 4% of compensation. So you contribute 4%, they will match that after one year at the company. That matching is vested immediately, so it is yours from day one. They offer the traditional loans, so you can borrow money up to your, the greater of your vested account balance. I should, I'm sorry, the lesser of your vested account balance, which is 50% or $50,000, and you can take hardship withdrawals or loans. If you choose to take a hardship loan, they will suspend your contributions for up to six months. You have a number of investment vehicles to choose from within the plan. If that's something you'd like some help with, all you have to do is reach out to our office and we'd be happy to help you diversify your contributions. And or if you've been in the plan for a while and you're just not sure you're doing the right thing, give us a call and we'd be happy to take a look at your plan and suggest any changes that should or need to be made. Here's a couple of examples. Employee number one chooses to contribute 7%. They're gonna get the 4% match. Remember, dollar for dollar and the 2% auto enrollment company contribution for a total of 13%. Employee number two chooses not to contribute. They're gonna get the auto enroll 2%. Now you're better off doing something, but it's there for you and you have the traditional withdrawal options regular withdrawals should be rolled over you've got the hardship withdrawals and you've also got what we call option two age 59 and a half withdrawals you could do an in-service withdrawal while you're still working if you're over 59 and a half and roll those funds over to an ira and diversify your funds even more now let's switch to the pension all employees both full-time and part-time are eligible that work for GSK or one of its subsidiaries. It's a cash balance pension plan. It's the only pension plan that is provided. You need to be uh, with the company for a year before you can participate. GSK will contribute 5% of all your eligible pay to the plan on your behalf. And that eligible pay includes overtime and bonuses. And you are fully vested from day one in those contributions. So if you leave, you could take those funds with you. You do earn interest credits. Those interest credits are determined by looking at historical treasury bond rates, the long-term 30-year treasury bond rate, over the preceding 24 months, starting from June each year. So from June of this year, they'll look back 24 months, they'll establish an average, and that will be established in July, and that is the interest that your, your benefit uh, balance will earn for next year. The interest earned for this year was determined last July. You have a, several different options. The traditional options for withdrawals are either a lump sum or annuity payments, and you can defer any of your payments until age 70 and a half if you so choose. Again, you have a lump sum option, which you could take your entire balance. You should roll it over into an IRA and then begin some sort of income stream from it. Uh, the same rules as ordinary income are, are going to pertain to it. If you choose to take an annuity of any sort, it's a distribution that's traditionally spent, sent out every month, and you can have federal and state income tax withheld from your distributions. So every year, come January, you'll get a 1099 with those withholdings on your distributions for your taxes. There are other options available to you, what's called the supplemental pension options. You, there are several annual installment options where you can have your monies paid out over 5, 10, or 15 years annually. The single life annuity is the highest, large, mo uh, largest monthly benefit. And then you can provide spousal 
survivor benefits, a 50% joint survivor where you collect a dollar, they could get 50 cents of it, and or joint and 100% survivor. Both of those options lower your be monthly benefit to provide your spouse with a benefit. You have to keep that in mind. Traditionally, a joint and 50% survivor will reduce your benefit by between 10 and 15%, and a joint survivor benefit could be anywhere from 15 to 25% reduction in your single life annuity. Inflation, it impacts pensions, monthly incomes. It, it affects us all in a lot of different ways, and we are living in very unique times right now. Uh, inflation just recently adjusted downwards, but it's still year over year over 8% and has been as high as 9 plus percent over the 12 months ending in June. Uh, inflation has a definite impact on a monthly pension because there are no cost of living built in. So your dollars, uh, the value of your dollars are going to decrease over time. I will say that the inflation that we are living in with right now is extraordinary. We've never lived through a pandemic before and the world is coming, still coming out of it. But you just got to keep in mind that inflation long term will have an impact on the dollars that you're collecting from your pension. So you want to have other sources of retirement income. The effects of inflation, again, do have a major impact, but they also have an impact on your investments. And fixed income investments are even impacted the most because rising prices and rising inflation basically can eat into the return on fixed investments and it can actually eliminate it altogether. In other words, if inflation's at eight and you're earning two on a CD, you're basically going in the hole by 7%. Not good. Now inflation, again, I believe will get under control. The Federal Reserve is doing what it can by raising rates. That will in turn probably slow the economy down a little bit but they will get those numbers under control probably within the next 12 to 24 months. So finally, let's just talk about planning again. Make sure you have a plan. I've quoted this uh, statement I'm going to make here for a long time. Americans will typically spend more time planning a two week vacation than they will their own retirement. 75% of us over the age of 50 don't have a written plan. That's silly. It's a complimentary service that we're happy to provide you. So take advantage of it. I have always said clients of mine who have a plan and the longer they've had a plan wind up being better off than individuals that don't. And one of the, I think one of the most prevalent things about having a plan is that clients who have a plan typically contribute more to the 401k than clients that don't because they see the long-term value of that compound growth over 5, 10, 20, 25, 30 years. So take advantage of that opportunity with us. You can reach out to us at 1-800-900-5867 or send us an email at info at the retirementgroup.com. You could schedule a call by scanning the QR code here on the left with myself or one of my colleagues. And you could look up our LinkedIn page again on the QR code on the right. So please take advantage of all the resources. Reach out to our office, get our GSK Retirement Guide. Um, we maintain a listing of all our future webinars on our LinkedIn page. Check out the recordings that we've got on our other GSK presentations. I wanna thank you for your time. I appreciate you joining me today. Have a great day.